Hey, are you ready to paint? Okay, boys and girls, you know what time it is. Let's try that again. Yeah, I still don't, I still have to do the teaching. It, I still have to. Like, you can't, like there's, nothing's gonna happen until I finish with this lesson. Okay. Hello, Crip and Astronauts. Welcome to the week of November 16th. This is your art teacher, Mrs. Gnaime. Last art lesson, we were talking about color theory, which is the study of colors and the relationships, how they work together when they mix. And this week, we are going to expand on that. So last time, what we did was we created a color wheel. So we had the primary colors, as you can see here, we had red, yellow, and blue. And when we mixed our primary colors, for example, red and yellow, when we mixed them together, we got the color orange right here, okay? And when we took blue and red, mixed them together, we got violet or purple. And then when we took yellow and blue and mixed them together, we got green. So we took the primaries and mixed them together and we got the secondaries. So this week, what we're gonna do is we're gonna expand on our knowledge we're gonna expand this color wheel even further and we're gonna create a color wheel that not only has the three primary colors and the three secondary colors, but it's also gonna include the colors in between them, which is what happens when we take a primary and mix it with a secondary. We get a tertiary. This is red and here's orange. And if you make a space in between and take red and orange and mix them together, you're gonna get a tertiary color called red-orange. And there are six tertiary colors in total. So that's what we're gonna to do today. Uh, we're gonna to create a tertiary color wheel. It's gonna have primaries and secondaries, and of course, tertiaries. For supplies, you're gonna need this handout that I'm attaching in Canvas. If you can't print it out at home, go ahead and pause the video and try to replicate or copy this worksheet onto a sheet of paper as best as you can. If you don't have a printer and you're making this worksheet by hand, make sure that you end up with 12 sections. If you're using paint, you're gonna need your primary and secondary colors, water, a paintbrush, and paper towel. So if you're not painting, that's okay. Miss Lena is telling you that all you need is crayons or color pencils. And be sure to go ahead and gather your primary colors and secondary colors so you can do the rest of the color wheel, even if you don't have paint. So what I need you to do right now is whether you have paint or color pencils or crayons or even markers, I want you to go ahead and fill in the primary colors and the secondary colors on your color wheel. Pay attention to where the names go so you can fill in the colors in the right spots. Let's do that now. Pause the video here to fill in those colors and hit play when you're ready to move on. Before we begin painting our tertiary colors, I wanted to let you know that just in case you don't have paint at home, check your crayon box. You might be able to find your tertiaries in there. So for example, I have all six tertiary colors from a regular pack, uh, the 24 pack of crayons. So red orange, yellow orange, yellow green, blue green, blue violet, and red violet. And this is how they would fit. If I were to use these to color in my color wheel, this is where they would go. So because red orange is a combination of both red and orange, it would be right here. And then this is yellow orange, it would go right here. Yellow green would go right here. Blue green would go in between blue and green. Blue violet would go in between blue and violet. Remember another word for violet is purple. Red violet would go right here in between red and violet. So what do you do if you don't have any paint at home and you don't have any tertiary colors in your crayon box 
or in your color pencil box. I'm going to show you how to combine primary plus secondary crayons or color pencils to create your tertiary colors. If, say for example you wanted to make yellow orange, okay? How to make yellow orange, if you only have crayons, the way you would do this is you would take yellow and color yellow first. Put the primary down first, the primary color will go first, and then take the secondary, so this is orange, I'm trying to make yellow orange, put the yellow first. Now I'm gonna take the orange and I'm gonna color on top of the yellow. And when I do that, it gives me yellow orange. So just so you can see the comparison, that's pretty close. Do you see how close that is? That's yellow orange and this is yellow orange, okay? Same thing, um, you can do the same thing with color pencils. So if all you have at home are color pencils and you wanted to make like yellow green, I would just get my yellow, okay? And then green, okay? Let's say I wanted to make yellow green. Color some yellow on here first, just so you could see. That's the, we use the primary color first. And then we go on top of it with the secondary. And if I need to, I can, if I feel like it's not yellow green enough, can go back on top of it with some yellow. And that gives me a color very close to yellow green. It, your tertiary colors are gonna be uh, named by a combination of the primary and the secondary that are mixed together. So if you're trying to make a tertiary and you don't have paint to mix, just use a crayon or a color pencil. Color the primary part first and then go on top of it with the secondary. So in the classroom, our younger kids are using these paint trays and then our older kids, they're able to use these uh, paint tubes to go ahead and put their own paint onto the color wheel. So for red orange, we put the colors right there in that spot. So red and orange together make red orange. Now yellow orange is a combination of yellow and orange. Now pay attention to how little orange I use compared to yellow. If you want a good yellow orange, it's best to have more yellow than orange. The same with yellow green. Since yellow green is a combination of both yellow and green, I wanna make sure that my yellow green really looks yellow green. If I put too much green, there's not gonna be much difference between green and yellow green. I really want it to look yellow green. Blue green, now because blue and green are both colors that are sort of dark, you can put equal amounts. Same with blue-violet. And same with red-violet. Remember, violet is another, color, another word for the color purple. I'm gonna put equal amounts of red and violet. Okay. So now I've got my six tertiary colors ready on here, ready to paint, and I'm gonna go ahead and start. I always uh, tell my kids to start with a clean and dry brush because this paint is already wet. You don't need to wet the paint, okay? So I like to start with the lighter colors first. So you see that there, it's, it's right in between yellow and orange. It's a nice blend of the two colors. And if you want this to dry fast and you have extra paint, you can kind of scoop it up like this and then wipe it off on a paper towel. 
This is how I tell the kids in class because they still have to take their sketchbooks back in their art bags. Like they can't leave anything in here on the drying rack just yet. So they take their art with them every day, even if we paint. So what I tell them is to help it dry fast so it doesn't make a mess in their art bag. It's to just scoop it up like that and wipe it off on the paper towel. And then use our little paint pail to brush the bottom of the pail. Notice how I'm brushing the bottom of the pail to clean off that paint. And then we'll use the paper towel again to dry off before we go to the next color. I'm gonna go to yellow green since it also has yellow. If you paint the, the lighter colors first, your paint water will last you a bit longer. So yellow green is a combination of yellow and green. Are you paying attention? Are you paying attention? You're not listening, but you won't let me teach the lesson. All right. So now I've got yellow orange and yellow green done. Be sure to clean and dry your brush between every color. Blue violet is my favorite. Blue violet is close to indigo, but it doesn't have black. Another uh, color name for blue-green um, that I hear often is teal. Okay, so now we have a 12 color color wheel that is complete with our primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Our secondary colors, orange, violet, and green. And now, taking our primaries and mixing them with our secondaries, we have our tertiary colors. Red, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, green, blue, green, blue, violet, and red, violet. So go ahead and if you can use the handout that I um, am attaching in Canvas to print this out, go ahead. If not, just make a circle and divide it into 12 sections and have fun. So that wraps it up. I can't wait to see what you turn in to Canvas. After Thanksgiving break, we'll be talking about rodeo art. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey. Blue-violet is a combination of blue and violet. It goes right here on the color wheel, you see? Are you paying attention? Right here, see that? Well, then you're walking away again.